Hello, and welcome to the Drum History Podcast. I'm your host, Bart Vanderzee, and today is kind of a cool, different little short episode because I just wanted to mention that this marks six years of drum history. Um, started October, mid-October 2018, and has been going strong um, since. And it has just been the coolest thing I've ever done, getting to meet so many great people, um, drummers, authors, historians, just normal people, normal drummers, just at, at drum shows. PASIC, Chicago Drum Show, Music City Drum Show, um, and beyond. Um, it's just been incredible. And this one is probably a number 249, but the next episode is with Mike and Danny from Bald Man Percussion, which I'm about to record here in about 10 minutes, uh, so I'm doing this beforehand. Um, that will be episode 250. So 250 episodes of drum history. So if you're a newer viewer on uh, YouTube or a listener on the podcast platforms, check out the early ones because you you get the, the history of Ludwig and Rogers and Zildjian and Sabian and and tons of cool ones. Um, and uh, it's it's really cool. But there's still episodes to do about the history of certain companies that I'm still working on. Um, even you know next week will be Bald Man Percussion, which is a newer company. But they've got a really cool story, so I'm excited for that. One thing I want to mention, too, is that there's just – in having this experience, there's been so many great people I've met. I think I've mentioned this on the show before, but a lot of people over six years, you interview people, and some of them are older, and they've passed away, and they're no longer here. So it's just unbelievable to be able to save their stories for people to hear and uh, pass it along. My good friend Barry James passed away. Um and uh, more recently, uh, my friend, all of our friend, if you're in the drum community, Mark Cooper passed away last month or the month before, and I never really got to commemorate it properly. Um, so I just wanted to mention him. Cooper's Vintage Drums, his website was a huge inspiration. I think he was on episode 11 or 12 or 13 of the of the show, but early on, the first episode I recorded was um, with Joey Boom, Joey Meckler, and um, was World War II drums. And I used Mark Cooper's website as a reference for the whole thing. Just got me in into this stuff. Because before this, I was just a drummer who knew nothing really about the history. And um, now, six years later, uh, I feel like I know a little bit more. And there's still tons to learn. Um, so yeah, the show is going to keep going, going strong. I'm actually down here in my um, dining room recording this because attic renovation. I got pushed out. I've recorded this show in so many different locations, started in a recording studio that I worked at, basements, attics, uh, 100 degree heat. But now finally, I'll be moving back up to a finished, um, completed, air conditioned, insulated uh, third floor with a desk and everything set up permanently. So I'm not um, sitting here in my dining room. Um, so that's going to be pretty cool. But anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to thank everyone for six great years. I mean, I've had three kids in that time. I've moved multiple houses, um, had different jobs, had a bunch of different, you know, ups and downs and experiences. But the, the, the constant through all of it is doing drum history. And it is a true honor that people like this show and uh, tune in and comment and enjoy the gear episodes, which holy cow, those are time consuming. Um, so <laughs> I like that you guys enjoy those and it makes it all worthwhile. Um, and to be able to, you know, financially you be, you get some money from YouTube and Patreon and everything. So, uh, it really helps, you know, keep things going. Cause after six years, if you're not making a little bit of money to, um, justify it to your spouse and taking all that time for 250, I mean, there's some that are two hours long. So there's probably 350, hours of drum history, maybe more. There's 70 bonus episodes on Patreon, um, which on that note, thank you to everyone on Patreon as well. Uh, truly, it's just a great thing that comes in, helps pay for this, um, you know, the platform I use and all this stuff. So thanks to you guys on there um, big time. So that's it for now. I, in five minutes, I got to record uh, my episode for uh, next week with uh, the bald man of bald man percussion. And um, I'm really looking forward to it. So stay tuned for that one. Um, that will be out, I think, either next week or the week after, depending on if I want to mix up the schedule. So 
just stay tuned for that. And then also check on YouTube. I'm going to drop another um, King Gizzard drum cam video that I filmed back in August that'll be out on October 15th. So if you're watching this in real time, it'll be out the same day this episode comes out. So uh, subscribe and follow on YouTube to see all that good stuff. So anyway, thank you for watching and supporting the show for all this time. And uh, one last thing I forgot to mention. You guys have sent a lot of really amazing emails, especially in the last couple months, but I have just been extremely bogged down with a baby and a toddler and a five-year-old and work. And um, I am way behind on emails, but I, at some point will go through, I love getting your emails, but just know if I don't answer, it's like, cause I looked at it and then literally someone like puked over there or someone pooped their pants or something and I had to go. Uh, and then I end up working at night and it's just crazy. So anyway, thank you for all your emails. I apologize for not being better at responding. Um, but I will get back to you, everyone at some point. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week with Mike and Danny from Bald Man Percussion. <laughs>